Today is the solemnity of the ascension of our Lord into heaven. Coincidentally, it's also, well, Mother's Day, the eve of Mother's Day. In Christ the King Cathedral is unique in that we will also have a mother's perspective right within this homily in a few minutes. But it's not just a coincidence, there's also theological themes to Mother's Day and Ascension. Jesus was fully human, and as fully human, he needed a mother to bring him into the world. So Jesus came through his mother, Mary. Then, at the end of his ministry, he ascended into heaven. So at the beginning was the mother, and at the end, the ascension, which is today. So Mother's Day and Ascension go together. Coming back to the Ascension, in present-day Jerusalem, there's a place known as Ascension Mountain. There's now a mosque in that place. It's an octagonal structure. And within that mosque, in the center, is an encased stone. You could see it through a glass. You probably wonder what is the relevance of that stone to the Muslims. Well, Muslims, just as much as us Christians, they believe Jesus ascended into heaven. And the stone which is encased there is believed to have been the place where Jesus ascended into heaven and left his footprints on that stone. It so happens way back around the 11th century, the Muslim took control of the Holy Land and all the sites were under their control. So the place where Jesus was presumed to have ascended into heaven came under their control. And that is how the mosque, which encases the stone of Christ's imprint when he left for heaven, happens to be there. Now this footprint, just like the shroud of Turin, there's no concrete evidence that it was the place or that was the imprint of Jesus' footprint. But lots of pilgrims, if you go to Jerusalem, it's one of the attraction sites. And it is strongly believed Jesus ascended into heaven and left his footprint right there. That is the closest thing to a tombstone of Jesus Christ. You remember when he, ro he rose from the dead and then the stone was rolled away and that was done away with. So this footprint is the closest thing to a tombstone, the imprint he left for us. We are asked to wonder as Christians now, all of us, will die one day. What would you like to be etched into your tombstone? Would you like your awards and the degrees that you've earned during your lifetime to be etched on your tombstone? Or would you like the impact of your life on others, many impact of love that you left while you were living in the world on the others to be etched on your tombstone. It is not too late. We can make a change in our lives 
and live lives of love so that it is etched on our tombstone. It will be our footprint when we leave the world. I would now like to invite Shanna Peterson to come and give her speech on Mother's Day. Hi, my name is Shana Peterson, fellow parishioner of Christ the King, mother to Elle, Emmy, and Evie, wife to Gilman, and friend to all of you. I'd like to wish you all a happy Mother's Day weekend. I'm here today to talk to you about stewardship and what it means to me and my family. Stewardship in my house is simply understood to mean giving back to God through time, talent, and treasure, and gratitude for all that God has given to us. As I prepared for this presentation, I tried to reflect on something or a specific example that I could use to really resonate with you, and then it dawned on me. The examples of God's blessings are countless and vary for each of us. God gave us his life, he gave us his only son who died for our sins, and he gave us everything we have ever known and ever will know. So rather than focus on all that God has given to us, I'd like to spend our time together on how and why we as individuals, families, parishioners, and community members can and should give back. So why? Why should we give of ourselves to the church? I'd like to share my thoughts. It is my belief that the church serves as the foundation for my family. Our faith is what keeps us rooted. Faith is what guides our decisions, how we interact with others, and how we respond to difficult situations. Most importantly to me, this church and its school, the parishioners, families, teachers, administrators, all of you, provide my children with a true sense of community. A community that loves, nurtures, and is developing them to be the next generation of leaders. This Christ the King community is filled with selfless people who give of themselves and are true stewards. Whether you realize it or not, every one of the children that identify with Christ the King School or Parish are learning by example, your example. You are role models to our children. They see you volunteer. They see the renovations made to these buildings that they call home and know you made it possible. They see the wonderful acts of charity carried out by groups like the Knights of Columbus and the Moms Ministry. They see you give to the weekly offertory and know that that is an intentional decision to assist in the missions of our church. The sacrifices each and every one of you make do not go unnoticed. And for that, I'm grateful. You are reinforcing by actions the foundation that I'm trying to establish in my children while giving them an understanding of whole community. If you happen to be skeptical of the impact you have on our children, I'd like to share a couple of examples of how our kids are modeling after you. My oldest feels that her way to give back is through her time and talent, serving previously as a cantor and currently as a regular Saturday evening altar server. She and her friends also volunteer. They volunteer for Oktoberfest shifts and other opportunities to help out around the school and church. My middle daughter and her classmates took on the huge task of raising funds through candy gram sales for Water with Blessings, a ministry that provides water filtration systems for homes in Africa. My first grader and her classmates made blessing bags filled with everyday necessities and distributed them to the homeless in Lexington while praying for their safety and comfort. My children and several of their friends have always foregone birthday gifts and instead picked a charity of their choice for friends and family to donate to. This year, our very own Anna Grace Bennett, not my child, but a child of our Christ the King community, selected the capital campaign as her birthday recipient. Her nine-year-old actions speak volumes to the type of children our community is raising. The examples of youth stewardship in our community are countless. Sandwich ministries, collecting for Ronald McDonald House, women's league clothing drives, canned food drives, etc. Your actions and the teachings of our parish and school really are forming the next generation of leaders, and I for one think the future looks bright. So now I'd like to switch gears and talk a little bit about how we can work together to further achieve our goal of being stewards of our Christ the King community. Attend Mass each week. Mass is an opportunity to refresh and renew spiritually and be surrounded by those with similar understanding of love and compassion. Go to the Adoration Chapel. This chapel brought me comfort when I lost my dad recently. It was the only place where I found peace. 
It's also the place where a fellow parishioner reached out to me while I was broken, offered empathy, prayer, compassion, and love. Just another fine example of the good stewards of our community. Volunteer for any of the ministries that are actively going on. We have an amazing turnout of families volunteering to greet and welcome others into our community. Vacation Bible School and Oktoberfest are right around the corner too. In recent months, you've received information related to the capital campaign. Many of you have generously committed and some of you are still prayerfully exploring your contributions. I'd like to share with you that we have reached about 75% of our goal. Again, you all are amazing examples of stewards for this Christ the King community. If you're still considering your contributions or think you can give more, fill out your letter of intent found in the bulletin. Give to the weekly offertory. Your contributions mean so very much for our church to be able to support the many ministries affiliated with our community. And honestly, if you think that the kids don't recognize the joy that comes from giving to those ministries, then you've never had two little girls fighting over who gets to put the envelope in the offertory basket each week. Finally, I'm about to undertake two huge challenges. As incoming PTO president for CKS and continuing in my role as Oktoberfest volunteer chair, you're going to be hearing a lot from me throughout this year. So get ready, the volunteer opportunities are plentiful. All of the examples I just mentioned of community stewardship are truly gestures of obedience, where you have acted as an intentional disciple to God and generous role models to all of our children. As a mother to three very impressionable little girls, I am grateful that God has given me this Christ the King community and home to reinforce their faith foundation, instilling the very essence of stewardship and discipleship into all three of them. All of you represent one of the greatest blessings that God has bestowed upon my family. So on this Mother's Day weekend, this mother wants to say thank you.